Good evening, champions. Welcome to tonight's edition of the Motivation to Elevation Facebook Live podcast. It's a privilege and honor to be back before you once again on this Tuesday night. It's a beautiful night here in the STL, and I'm just excited. I got a great topic for you all. So if you don't have a pen and paper, I suggest you grab it because we're going to dive in. And I'm going to let some people know that I'm live. How you all doing tonight? You just hopping on, let me know that you own so I can say hello. Here, what's going on? How you doing this evening? for this topic. Right on. What's up, champions? Welcome to tonight's edition of the Motivation Elevation Facebook Live podcast. I am yours truly, Ari Tyson, and I am sitting here in my office here in the STL, and it is a privilege and honor to be back before you tonight. Hopefully, we don't have any more any glitches like we had last time, but nevertheless, we were able to move through it, and I'm just looking to provide value as I strive to do each and every Tuesday night that I'm before you. Tonight's topic it's really something that's really prevalent. It's really something that has to be said. And so if you get value from this, feel free to share this on your Facebook walls and make sure you use the hashtag motivation, the number two elevation. And so that way I can, you know, say thanks for sharing and, you know, show you some love as well. Having said all that, Tonight's topic is entitled, What Do Emotionally Strong People Not Do? Because it's easy to talk about the things that people do. And I was thinking about that because we are basically in a situation where we are in a generation, we live in a generation of emotionally weak people. And the question is, why is this? Why is this the case? 
because they've taken the idea of being politically correct. They've taken it to a whole nother level. And it's to the point, it's gotten to the point, and it's sad that everything has to be watered down because it's offensive, including the truth. But what I would say is, even when people decide to walk away from you, even when people decide to turn their back on you for reasons that you may never know, don't give up on you because they gave up on you. Don't stop believing in you because they stopped believing in you. Don't let what they think influence what you know. It doesn't matter how many people quit on you. Never let how they feel about you change the way you feel about yourself. I'm going to say that again. Never let how they feel about you change the way how you feel about yourself. They don't walk in your shoes. So stop giving their opinions the power to direct your path. So what do emotionally strong people not do? And I'm going to share with you some things based on my own life experience. Because I feel like I'm obligated and I'm qualified to talk about this. Because I have been in situations where I've had to be emotionally strong. And chances are you're stronger than you realize. Especially when your back is against the wall. So let me share with you some things that I've learned through my life. First of all. One of the things that emotionally strong people don't do is that they don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. Why do I say this? Because emotionally strong people, they don't sit around feeling sorry about their circumstances or how others have treated them. Instead, however. They take responsibility for their role in life and they work on changing what can be changed. And keep in mind that life isn't always easy and life show sure enough is not always fair. If you want to if you want to talk about what's fair, that's where they have pigs at. That you find pigs at a fair. In the end, happiness, your happiness Happiness is not the absence of problems, but simply the ability to deal with them and deal with them well. So look at what you have instead of what you have lost. Because it's not what the world takes away from you that counts. It's what you do with what you have left. Are you with me? Also, one of the things that emotionally strong people, what they don't do is they don't think they need more to be happy. They don't think they need more to be happy. Emotionally strong people know that happiness is a mindset of appreciation. In other words, happiness does not start when this or that or the other thing is resolved. What happens is happiness is what happens now when you start to appreciate what you have. And until you are happy with who you are, you will never be happy with what you have. You will never be happy with what you have until you're happy with who you are. And that starts with looking at the man or the woman in the mirror. A third thing. Emotionally strong people don't compare their journey to everyone else's. No one's journey is the same. Most of us have the same destination, but our journeys are not the same. Why do I say this? Because social comparison is the thief of happiness. Do your best and don't compare your progress with that of others. Why? Because they are not you. 
We all need our own time to travel our own distance. And emotionally strong people know this is the truth. And guess what? They live by it. If you're getting value from this, let me know in the comments section. We up to number four. A fourth thing that emotionally strong people don't do is that they don't expect everything to be easy. They don't expect everything to be easy. What do I mean by that? Why do I say that? Because emotionally strong people don't view failures and delays as reasons to give up. You ever seen somebody give up at the first sign of trouble? You ever seen somebody fold up like a cheap tent? They can't be respected. It's hard to respect someone who runs when the going gets tough. And you can ask anybody that has that is engaged, that has been in a long-term relationship, that is married, that has decades invested. Nobody said it was going to be easy. But they feel that it's worth it. Emotionally strong people don't view failures as delays and delays as reasons to give up. Instead, they use failure as an opportunity to grow and improve. And instead, they're willing to keep trying until they get it right. What I don't respect is someone that does not try. Does not even make an attempt to try. Whether they're working on improving their health. Or getting a new business off the ground. Emotionally strong people. Don't expect immediate gratification. They don't expect immediate results. Instead however. They apply their efforts and their abilities. To the best of their ability. Their skills and understand that real change takes time, but they also realize that real change is necessary. Which leads me to the fifth point. Emotionally strong people, they don't say I can't. They don't say it. Let me put it this way. Henry Ford once said. Said it like this. Whether you think you can or whether you think you can't, you're right. Emotionally strong people know this is true. They know this is true. If you really want to do something, you can and you will find a way. If you don't, you surely will find a long list of excuses to make. So stop saying I wish and start saying I will. Learn how to turn your can'ts into cans and learn how to turn your dreams into plans. Dreams are free. However, the plan, you got to pay a price. It's just that simple. Another point I want to make. Is that emotionally strong people, they don't make the same exact mistakes over and over again. And this is important. Why? You can't make the same mistake twice. Because the second time you make it, it's no longer a mistake. You know why? It's a choice. Emotionally strong people, they accept responsibility for their behavior and learn from their past mistakes. And as a result, they don't keep repeating the same thing over and over. They don't keep repeating the same mistakes over and over and expecting a different result. You know what we call that? We call that insanity. Instead, they grow and they move on to better decisions and learn new lessons. You have to respect the process. And you can't you can't microwave anything 
in life except processed food, basically. You can't you can't microwave success. Anything worth worth being successful in, it takes time, it takes patience, it takes dedication, it takes commitment. It takes loyalty. What are you loyal to? What are you loyal to? Because if you don't have an ounce of loyalty in your body, you will never be successful. But you also have to be honest with yourself, which leads me to the next point. Emotionally weak people, they hate change. They're resistant to it. However, emotionally strong people, they don't resist change. Why is that? I'm glad you asked. Because emotionally strong people don't try to avoid change. Anytime you learn something new, anytime you develop a new skill set and something enters into your mental Rolodex that was never there, you're not the same person. You're not the same person that you were before you got on this podcast. You won't be the same person by the time you leave this podcast. That's a fact. That's reality. Emotionally strong people don't try to avoid change. Instead, they welcome positive change into their life. And they're willing to be flexible. They understand that change is inevitable, ladies and gentlemen. And believe in their abilities to adapt. Change happens for a reason. So you got to roll with it. You either roll with it or you get rolled on. It won't be easy. It's not supposed to be easy. If it was easy, everybody would do it. But it will be worth it. It will be worth it. If you stay the course. And don't run when stuff gets tough. And there's too many people out here that's running and tucking, tucking their tail and hiding when you need to be standing. Don't stoop in standing time. And I hope that you're getting some from this. Another thing that emotionally strong people do, and we're almost done. They don't hang on every word other people say about them. And this is something I've been dealing with over the last eight days. Over the last eight days. I've been really wrestling with this. So I'm speaking. So as I'm speaking to you, I'm actually speaking over myself. Because I really got annoyed about, about something that was revealed to me eight days ago. And it really aggravated me to the point where I almost got out of character. I almost gave a lot of people who call me family a piece of my mind. But I have to remind myself that, you know, as humans, we only use 10 to 15 percent of our of our brain power. So we really can't afford to give somebody a piece of our mind. Right. So I was able to roll it back in and remember who I am. Because ultimately, it's mind over matter. Why do I say this? Because I'm at the place now where I don't mind because they don't matter. Emotionally strong people, they listen to their own heart and intuition, not the peanut gallery. So try not to take things other people say or what other people do or what other people don't do too personally. Yes, I'm speaking to myself about that. What they think and say is a reflection of them, not you. Ultimately, you can't change how people treat you or what they say about you or even what they believe about you. But see, where I'm from, I'm from the STL. Where I'm from, if you want to know something about What's about me? Don't ask somebody you think they may know. You go to if you got a problem, you go to the source. See, that's how 
we operate, you go to the source because the source knows more than what other people like to do. They like to go on hearsay. But when you have an opportunity to address, to talk to the source and you don't operate in that and you don't use that, then you're really revealing yourself. And it's not a good look. All you can do is change how you react and who you choose to be around. Remember, you can't change how people treat you. You can't change how pe what people say about you. All you can do and all you're responsible for is how you react and who you choose to be around. Two more and I'm done. Another thing that emotionally strong people don't do, they don't worry about pleasing everyone. They don't worry about it. It don't even cross their mind, especially when they know they have the truth on their side. Emotionally strong people recognize they don't need to please everyone all the time. They're not afraid to say no or speak up when necessary. And they strive to be compassionate and fair. But can handle other people being disappointed if they didn't perfectly live up to their unfair expectations. The bottom line is this. Pleasing everyone is impossible. And may the bridges you burn light your way. Finally, the last thing that I would say that emotionally strong people don't do, <laughs> they don't think it's too late to start over. They don't think it's too late to start over. Let go of the idea that it's too late to start over. Remember, it's always better to be at the bottom of the ladder you want to climb than at the top of the ladder you don't want to, that you did not intend on climbing. Even if it means beginning anew, just because some things didn't work out as you may have planned or may have expected, or it didn't happen as fast as you thought it would. It's no excuse to give up on your dreams. And, and most of all, it's no excuse to give up on yourself. Time passes one way or the other. Do what you need to do so that at the very least, you can look back and say, guess what? I gave life my best shot. You only miss 100% of the shots you don't take. And I don't respect anyone that doesn't take any shots. You can't play it safe forever. You can't wait on the perfect time to get started because the perfect time will never come. There's no such thing as the perfect time because tomorrow is not promised. All you have is today and yesterday is gone. So you might as well make the most of right now. That's why it's ca called the present. It is a gift. What are you doing to change your circumstances? What are you doing to change your situation? You still talking about it? You still saying, I'm, I'm going to do this later? I'm going to do it when the time is right? Stop complaining and do me a favor. Make a decision. And I would rather make a decision than have somebody make the decision for me. So to recap, I said earlier that we live in a nation, we live in a generation, however, of emotionally weak people. They feel like everything has to be watered down because it's offensive, even the truth. 
But I'm going to reiterate. Don't give up on you because they gave up on you. Whether it's someone that said they love you and walked away. Or whether it's someone that said they would join you in business but still hasn't. And they come up with every single reason or excuse why they haven't gotten started. Don't give up on you because they gave up on you. Don't stop believing in you because they stopped believing in you. Don't let what they think believe what you know. It doesn't matter how many people quit on you. Never let how they feel or how they feel about you change how you feel about yourself. Because you are more than a conqueror. You are a champion. And you deserve to... To live in abundance. They don't walk in your shoes. So stop giving their opinions the power to direct your path. And I shared several things that emotionally strong people, what they don't do. I said that they don't waste time feeling sorry for themselves. They don't think they need more to be happy. They realize that they're on their own journey and they don't compare their journey to, er to everyone else's. I also said that they don't expect everything to be easy, but, but they know that it's going to be worth it in the end. They don't say the two dreaded words, I can't. They don't make the same exact mistakes over and over again. Emotionally strong people, they don't resist change. They know that change is necessary to grow and evolve, to mature. Another thing they do, they don't hang on to every word other people say about them. They don't worry about pleasing everyone. And then finally, they don't think it's too late to start over. So having said all that, I trust that I've given you something to think about. I trust that what I've said is something substantial and that it is of value to you. Something that you can take going forward in life and in business if you have a business. And if you got value from this, feel free to let me know. Feel free to share this uh, podcast once it's uploaded and I want to say thank you to everyone who has tuned in it is a pri it's been a privilege privilege and honor to serve you tonight and I will be back next Tuesday same time 9 30 p.m eastern standard time 8 30 central standard time on the next edition of the Motivation to Elevation Facebook Live Podcast. Once again, it's yours truly, Arian Tyson. Remember, in life, you have two choices. You can make moves or you can make excuses, but you most certainly cannot do both. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'll see you next time. Peace.